Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, graphic organizers with tools for students. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge and today I'm talking about graphic organizers with tools for students, uh, which includes two sets of apps, Tool for Students and Tool for Students 2. Both provide similar things and I'll share that with you uh, just now. And what both do is they provide space for students to work on a structured graphic organizer with lots of detail that allows to foster comprehension, plan instruction, or a plan an oral presentation. For example, let's take the compare and contrast. This is a take on the Venn diagram, but actually doing it a little bit different, separating the traits of A and B, and then how are they the same? And you can see there's even room for the name of the person and the name of the book. So in this way, students have a scaffold. They, it's very clear what they're expected to do. They can share it with each other. And what I love about this newer version of Tools for Students is you can also share it in various ways, including integration with Google Drive. So you can copy the results to the drive. So if you're working inside Google Classroom, you can easily bring that in and make it an assignment that transcends the use of that device uh, exclusively. And of course, you can save it as a picture or send it directly to Google Classroom, as you can see. Uh, here. So there are lots of options. This is what the compare and contrast looks. There's a uh, drawing conclusion is another one I like. And again, what you do is you simply press on it and then you start writing. So the story clues, um, um, Sammy is sad and you can uh, then go to another section. And that's one of the things that I like because that's something that is required uh, when we're doing close reading. You can even write the page number where you took that information from. So you have that ability to actually collect all of that information, organize it, and then share it with the teacher. Uh, the templates, there are lots of templates. So there's the KWL, uh, what do I know? What do I want to know? What I learned as a way to think about how do you organize the information before you watch a short video or before you listen to something for homework or just at the beginning of the unit. And again, this is easily used uh, students are in that environment that helps them organize their thinking. They can share with each other, which is another way to think about this. Um, here's another one that I like uh, when we talk about a uh, problem and solution within narrative text. The problem, the series of events, the climax, and then the uh, solution. So it's lots of opportunities to look at different templates for graphic organizers. There are 25 here. Um, if you're teaching vocabulary, again, the, time, the word meaning uh, are really, really good. The timeline is okay. It's not my favorite. I think the timeline from ReadWrite.org is actually, uh, ReadWriteThink.org is actually better. And here's uh, another one. This is the uh, Tools for Students 2. And it's got another 25 uh, options. Uh, this is from facts to conclusions. So drawing conclusions, what are the facts that are brought to bear? What is the conclusion? And you can see that there's a better timeline on this one, a, a way to make generalization, a grid, a reading organizer. So you can see that there are lots of options even within this one. Now, both apps cost, but they're 99 cents only. I think it's a really good investment if you've got a classroom set or even a school set of iPads. If that doesn't work, having a few that have them will work as well because then they can rotate uh, in the classroom or they can use them as groups. So today, in iPads in a Classroom, we talked about graphic organizers, especially with tools for students, and I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.